Good morning. Do you have any bathroom or guacamole on there? It's honestly stunning. I love it. Jam on legs. I finished up getting my hair done. Good boy. But the fridge is just warm. <laughs> if you said no, you're wrong. This always, always happens. happens. Okay, hello. Welcome back to another vlog. Today has not gone to plan at all. I did try to start this vlog this morning, but then I just didn't film at the gym and then I came home and I showered, I got ready for the day, I went to make myself a coffee and my milk was warm and my fridge had just broken. It looks like it's on, the freezer is working, but the fridge is just warm. <laughs> back when I used to live with three of the girls I went to school with, one of my old housemates bought that fridge for like $150 from a secondhand fridge place and it's been so so good I'm honestly surprised it hasn't died by now and I called my dad and I was like have you ever used a good fridge mechanic like I need a mechanic out here and he was like Georgia that fridge is so old it's probably just best and probably cheaper to just buy a new fridge and I was like so I did a bit of research online. I screenshot like the five that I liked the most and then I just come out of the good guys. I went in and I looked at them all in person. I ruled out a few that I didn't like and then it came down to two fridges. I'm scared to like show you the other option in case you're all like, oh, you should have gotten that one. <laughs> but there was a white one and then there was like a dark gray one. They were pretty much exactly the same size, but one was white and one was gray. And I just loved the look of the white one. I feel like white fridges can sometimes look like they're really old, but this one was just like a nice shiny white, like a pearly white and I just thought it looked really good and I feel like it would have made my kitchen a bit more brighter than it already is but the grey one was like a nice dark grey like it wasn't black it wasn't silver it was just like a nice dark grey and it had a water dispenser I'm renting at the moment so obviously I couldn't get one that you have to like plumb into the wall but it's just like a jug inside of the fridge that's attached to a little tap but even that like I'm stoked about having that like I have wanted one of them forever and so the sales guy came up was like can I help and I was like yeah I'm trying to decide between these two fridges he scans them both and says oh I can't give you the white one I can only give you the grey one and I was like, well, I guess that's my decision made. <laughs> and so I'm getting it delivered tomorrow. So good. I'm paying $70 to get them to deliver it. And they're taking away my old fridge, which is just phenomenal. I also, if you watch my last weekly vlog, did a big grocery shop yesterday. So all my chicken is now off. All my mince is now off. I have no milk. Um, but that's my <laughs> Monday afternoon update. My older brother is actually coming over to my house this afternoon to drop off my big mirror. He's a tradie, so he has a big ute that he can like put the shit of glass on so he's gonna transport that for me he didn't trust the removalist to move it when I moved a couple weeks ago I always get messages about where that mirror is from but I just got it from my local glazier I just like gave them dimensions and I just said like I want a mirror this big it was very expensive like big mirrors are expensive no matter where you get them from but this one just like doesn't have a frame around it very simple very big I love it but yeah I just got it from my local glazier whoa the Sun just came out from the clouds that's my cue to leave then I guess I'll talk to you later <laughs> minute but my fridge got delivered today so honestly today has been a complete disaster if I'm being honest but this is my new fridge it's honestly stunning I love it and it fits just like it's so snug the fridge I had in here last was very snug so like I knew it would fit but they were putting it in I was like oh my goodness imagine if my measurements were off I literally had everything sitting here on the bench so I just put everything back in the fridge stuff that like lasted everything else went in the bin this morning which is honestly heartbreaking also look at my snacks 
Isn't that phenomenal? Some pre-workout sources. I don't really know where everything is going to go for now, but I have written a grocery list and I'm going to go grocery shopping. I feel like it's a pretty small list. It's just like meats, milk, cheese. The main things I need for the next couple of days. It's literally 8 p.m. I can't believe this. <laughs> Today was just one of those days where everything took way longer than necessary and I don't know why. I was very anxious. I had no reason to be, but I feel like I was very on edge waiting for the fridge people to arrive. Also, the delivery of the fridge was like 10 out of 10 experience. They took my old one, put in my new one. They were so good. But I don't know, I just had so many emails to reply to. My DMs kept coming in. I don't know, I just feel like I couldn't keep on top of things today. And I had such a huge list of things to get done and I barely got any of it done. And I'm literally going out at 8 p.m. now to restock my fridge. <laughs> very like first world problems, I'm very aware. I also feel like the news today has just been very heavy. There's lots going on in the world at the moment. There kind of always is. But today my news feed was just full of it. And I know that it's such a privilege to see that and feel overwhelmed by seeing it in my news feed while I'm sitting in my house under my own roof working for myself. Like I know I am so privileged. I don't know, there's just a lot going on in my head, but I need to go get some food in me, some food in my fridge as well. And then I need to do a little bit more work. And then I've got a big day with soap tomorrow, which will be good. It's like kind of 50% work, 50% pleasure. That's my Tuesday update. I honestly could have gone to bed at 6 p.m. if it was my choice. <laughs> I literally look like a, I think it's the collar. A schoolboy? Yeah. Mm, I've got it too though. <laughs> we actually look like Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Oh, I feel like my hair color looks really good today. It does. But like I'm literally getting it done tomorrow. This always, always happens. happens. I don't get it. Like, like if you... my hair looked like this every day, I wouldn't get it redone. Yeah, right? It always happens the day before because you're like, oh, maybe I don't want to change it. But half the time it's orange. So if now I have to again, big surprise here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Three times in one week. Literally <laughs> love this for us. Amazing. But we both needed some content and... <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's it. <laughs> well, we got a body scan this morning. Yes, we're going to do a little mini. We just challenge between yeah. us, which yeah. is like kind of fun. I love it. And then we went to the gym. Yes. And now we've driven to the Gold Coast. Yes. We're at Pacific Fair. We're at the rooftop car park because I feel like this is one of the best places to take I've photos. I've never liked taking photos here. I feel like this is a very you thing and I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Do love a good car park photo. Mm. So we've packed a bunch of Gymshark clothes to shoot in and we're going to yeah. try and get some matchy matchy photos. Yeah. We're not very good at taking photos like together. Oh, we're awful. We're so bad at it. Yeah. I'm normally really good with self timer too. I'm but not. But for some reason, I we just can't get it together. It's always I, too far away or it's yeah. blurry or it's something. We're going to then reward ourselves with bubble tea. Very excited. Happy you know I feel like my hair looks very blonde today. I feel like my hair looks very brown. <laughs> maybe it's because we're together. Yeah. Like maybe if you weren't here, my hair would be orange. You're the blunt, you're the brunette to my blonde. Aww. And then after we've gotten our photos, gotten our bubble tea, we're gonna go to the beach. Yes. We're hoping that the weather clears up a little bit. Also, our eyelashes popping because of this serum. We use the same serum and mascara. Wow, even our eyes right now. I like I can't really open my eyes. It's so, <laughs> so bright. Anyway, anyway, I'm gonna try to get a photo in this in the car. I have very low hopes, but so freaking so you can get it. I think we we've got the shot. Oh my one just don't want to stand. Better get better, better get, get cracking in here. <laughs> I don't know, turn that off. I haven't chatted to you in a bit. So it's back there taking some content. We just went for a bit of an ocean dip. Unreal. It was actually, I was expecting it to be way colder. Me too. I was about to wash out. You were. Like, you were running in. She was like, oh no. And I was like, ah, uh -uh. <laughs> we're going in. But it's honestly warmer in the water than yeah, it is out here. Is. I feel invigorated. Honestly. Doesn't it just feel like you're living? Yeah. I really am living my life. And also, showers after the beach. Oh. I think top 10 favorite things to do yeah, ever. Absolutely. We got donuts and we're going to now eat there in the car. And and drive home. What a wholesome day. It really is. I'm 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Right
morning friends happy thursday currently 8 30 and i've just finished up at the gym i had the sweatiest session i have two lower body sessions a week one with my pt and one in the gym and i've been doing the same one in the gym for i think three weeks now and every week it blows my mind how hard it is in my old what is the word that i'm looking for in my old program <laughs> why did the word program not come to my head in my last program i had two lower body days one was quad focused and the other was glute and hamstring focused and i loved that split whereas this program my leg day that i just did covers everything quads glutes calves hamstrings that's your whole leg isn't it <laughs> it's a killer i do have a reel up on my instagram of the workout if you want to see the whole thing but oh my goodness it's so hard but leg day is just like the day that you go hard and you just really push yourself and you die <laughs> i did two sets of 15 bulgarian split squats with 15 kilo dumbbells and i collapsed on the floor afterwards <laughs> and just sat there for a good five minutes and i was like I might just stay here for a bit and then I was like oh I might walk on the treadmill and just get some steps after my session just to cool down and then I walked up to the cardio area and I was like mm, why not go on the Stairmaster and just like annihilate your legs so I was on the Stairmaster for 10 minutes and I was dripping off my elbows like I was so sweaty but it is all done and dusted I tried to get here really early this morning but I only ended up getting here at like 6 30 I think but still pretty stoked with that I was here for like two hours I don't really know why I'm actually gonna go to Aldi and buy some more protein yogurt I've been obsessed with it lately and when my fridge died I only went to Woolworths to restock it and I need to go to Aldi to get the yogurt and then I'll go home have the yogurt for breakfast shower get ready I'm gonna do a bunch of work I need to tidy my house a bit so that's my plan for the time being I'm so hungry, so I'm going to get some yogurt. <laughs> the shower and while I was getting ready Posty came off and dropped off a huge package from White Fox for me and I quickly wanted to thank them for sponsoring today's vlog as always they were kind enough to give me a discount code so the code GEORGIAXO will save you 15% off site-wide excluding <laughs> excluding their collaborations I didn't get any in this package but White Fox Boutique also stocks White Fox Swim as well I definitely should have got some swimmers considering we're coming into summer soon but it's fine White Fox also offers worldwide express shipping and they have afterpay available for all US, Oz and New Zealand customers I did already open some things out of this box including the set that I'm wearing right now this is called Lovers in the Air sweater and these are the meant to be together lounge shorts is this not the cutest loungewear set you've ever seen in your life? If you said no, you're wrong. <laughs> I truly believe that White Fox does the best loungewear sets ever and I really stand by that. So I'm going to show you a few that I picked up. I also got this black and white set. This is a City Escape oversized sweater and then I got the matching shorts to go with it. That's so cute. And I think my favorite thing about White Fox sets is that I feel like they're acceptable to wear out in public. I'm going to a hair appointment after this and I will be wearing this track set. And they're honestly the comfiest things ever. As I mentioned, we are going into summer. So I wanted to get a track set that was like a little bit cooler. So I got one that was a t-shirt instead. This is the Romance Me Off tee. I got a large slash extra large. So it's very big and oversized, which is my favorite. And then these are the matching track shorts. Are you kidding me? I just think this is so fun. And I have red Converse that I think would look so good paired with this. Big vibe, honestly. I have been obsessed with the color brown lately and I have so many brown track shorts from White Fox. So I saw this little brown tank and thought it would match so well with all of my track pants. This is called the not over yet crop in chocolate and it's like a ribbed material as well which means it's gonna be so comfy and I just think it's so cute I feel like I'm gonna wear this to death in summer I also picked up this pair of denim shorts I have one pair of denim shorts that actually fit me and as I mentioned we're going into summer so I thought I'd pick up another pair these are called the young and free denim shorts and I got blue denim in extra large they are kind of like a slim leg so they are a bit more of a tight fit but I really really like them just a classic pair of blue denim jeans can't go wrong and I also got them in black because I don't have a pair of black denim shorts 
to fit so we love to see it okay I've seen dresses like this floating all over the internet lately and I saw someone else my size wearing one the other day and I was like okay you've convinced me <laughs> firstly look at this color are you kidding but it's just I don't even know how to describe this dress you'll see it in the try-ons but it's kind of got buttons and ruching down the middle of it and it just looks so so beautiful it's got little cat sleeves I think it's gonna go to like mid thigh length which is my favorite I just love I don't have any like fun summer dresses to wear out I'm very excited about this this is called the island escape mini dress and I got a size large okay this is very weird for me but I got a long tight dress I don't own anything like this but I kind of just wanted to give it a go it's kind of just like a YOLO moment like wear what you want life's too short this is called the meet again mini dress and I got an extra large it's kind of got a halter neck I really like the cuts on the top bit and then it's just tight and goes all the way down I think it's gonna go like maybe mid shin a bit longer and it's got a split in one of the sides which I think will make it a bit more comfy to wear and move around in I'm very nervous about this but equally I kind of love it at the same time Next up, I got the Hang On To Love bodysuit. And it's just a basic, classic black bodysuit. I don't actually own a staple black bodysuit. And I feel like it's something that everyone needs in their wardrobe. Again, getting ready for summer. This with just a pair of denim shorts. Done. Outfit sorted. Easy. I love. This is the Ultimate Girl halter. And it's in the color petrol. Interesting. I don't actually, this looks so stupid. I don't actually have a halter neck top. So I thought this would be fun. And the material is very stretchy and comfortable. And then it's just got the little white fox logo in the middle there, which I love. We're just going off the summer theme for a quick moment because I did pick up a pair of jeans. These are the Good Life skinny jeans and I got an extra large. I just don't have a pair of black skinny jeans and I feel like there's been multiple occasions where I've needed a pair. So I picked these up. They feel like they have a bit of give, which sounds good to me. They fit around my neck, which means hopefully they'll fit. I just needed a pair of black jeans so that's that <laughs> okay going along with the tight dress theme I got a couple more again very YOLO moment of me but I'm kind of here for it this is the weekend dreamy ribbed mini dress in extra large in the color chocolate are you kidding <laughs> I'm obsessed with the brown but it's just a ribbed mini dress that has the like tie ruching up the side so you can make it as long or short as you want which I love because I'm short I'm a very short human and the fact that I can just choose the length of dresses is incredible I love the sleeves I love the color I have high hopes for this dress <laughs> this dress is very similar to the white one that I showed you this is called the love signs mini dress and I got khaki in a size large I kind of just mix between large and extra large because I don't really know what size I am currently but this one has a fun little cutout in the middle which like I hope it's gonna be flattering it's kind of hard to tell this literally is just like a rectangle but this somehow is just gonna go on my body interesting but this material is so soft and it's a ribbed material as well I feel like ribbed material most of the time is just very very flattering and just like the white one it is very long but it just doesn't have a split at the bottom I got another tight dress I honestly don't know who I am I'm having imposter syndrome but look it's literally the same dress as I just showed you but it has sleeves I'll wear this in winter and I'll wear that other one in summer this is the headlines mini dress and again khaki in an extra large this material is just so soft I can't even describe and just so stretchy we love to see it okay this is the last tight dress I promise but it's just a classic black one I kind of just needed it you know it's a shorter one that has the ruching up the side it's not adjustable ruching so I'll be interested to see how it sits um, but again it's a ribbed material very soft it has got a seam that goes along the middle I feel like you can't tell because it's black but I feel like this is gonna be very flattering and just perfect for summer I love I need to stop saying I love <laughs> but I do really love okay and the last thing I picked up is this brown chocolate sweater I am obsessed with browns if you haven't been able to tell from this whole haul this is the dreaming out loud knit in chocolate and I got a size large just a cropped brown sweater a kind of high neckline kind of baggy sleeves I just love I really would love to pick up a pair of white jeans because I feel like brown with white jeans would look so good I'm a big fan lol half of this haul is winter and half of this haul is summer I mean we are in spring I'll take it <laughs> but another big thank you to white fox for sponsoring today's vlog I seriously love everything and I will have all of the links to these items in the description box below along with my discount code which is Georgia XO I'm now gonna try these all on film the try on clips so you guys can see what they will look like and then I'm going to need to clean up the mess in front of me tidy my house a bit have lunch and then I'm heading over to my parents house because my little brother is going to wash my car because he's a freaking legend and then from my parents house my brother's going to drive me to my hair appointment and then go back home and continue washing my car and then come pick me up when I'm done so he's just being a legend today bless his little heart but that's the plan for the rest of the day you got any car cream or guacamole on there good I just grabbed guacamole on one on two of them please both of them uh, that's all thanks perfect 27 80 German food.
Hello, hello! I finished up getting my hair done. I am obsessed. I am over. I am very aware it's very dark and I feel like this might not be everyone's cup of tea But it's okay because it's not your hair, it's mine <laughs> Every time I go back to my hairdresser, I'm like just the same thing I just get a dye freshen up I have no idea what the color is called But my hairdresser is the best She is so great and does such a good job And is also just such a great chat <laughs> I am obsessed She chucked in some loose curls I feel like all the curls have just gone straight to the bottom I feel like it really brings out my features Like my eyes and my eyebrows I love I just finished up at my parents' place My brother cleaned my car Car, and it's looking so clean literally not a speck of dirt or dust in sight but I'm actually gonna now head off to my friend Grace's house I'm gonna go walk her dog Grace has a crazy busy schedule at the moment with uni and prac and work and her dog needs a lot of exercise so she normally takes them off for two walks a day and she just can't manage to do the second walk so I've offered to go and help so I'm not really dressed appropriately but I'm gonna go and walk her dog I don't really know how long for but probably as long as I can in these shoes I feel like my little toe already hurts in these shoes so it'll be an interesting walk but after that i'll drop the dog back and then go home have dinner and go to bed pretty crazy times <laughs> at vlogging the last couple of days I just haven't picked up my camera just kind of in the headspace of like get in get things done get out instead of like get in set up a time lapse get things done <laughs> but as you would have seen yesterday I had PT in the morning and then I went out for breakfast with my friend Kate and we sat and chatted for so long and it was so good after that I came home and I was just straight into hustle mode and got so much done I did like three loads of washing cleaned the whole house did a load of the dishwasher I meal prepped all my food and then I sat on the couch for hours replying to DMs and comments which is really good but now it's Saturday morning it's currently 6 40 and I'm about to leave my house I'm gonna go pick up my friend Beck from PT and I'm gonna take her and I to the gym and we're gonna do the hit class I'm stressed because these Saturday morning hit classes are like on another level they're so hectic but they're kind of just fun at the same time like I don't really understand how I feel about hit like 50% of the time I'm like no absolutely not and then the other 50% of the time I'm like yeah let's go we're gonna go anyway it's Soccer has been cancelled for the time being since lockdown. Like, community sport hasn't started back up yet. Um, I'm pretty sure I only have one game left of the season, and that's in September. So while I have Saturdays free of exercise, I thought I'd go to the gym, do a hit class. Uh, it's also really fun. Like, I love training with other people. I love training with Beck and all the people that's in the class. It's really, really fun. So that's what we're going to do. I've got some pre here with me. I'm gonna jam out to some tunes. And then once the hit class is done, I need to come home and like milk prep my food and stuff. And then Grace, Beck, and I are all gonna go to the beach this afternoon. What is it about the YouTube? Let's go! Let's This is gold. We need to hit them kids. Yeah, and I lay on the floor and you're like, get up. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Beck, what would you rate that class out of 10 for the vlog? Oh, <laughs> honestly, I am not a runner, so I found the running quite intense. So hard. And if you saw me on the streets breathing, <laughs> no, you didn't. Mind your business. <laughs> I also had no idea it was like 1.6 kilometers. We're not American, so, so when Darcy was like a mile, mile, I was like, oh, that's like easy. I was like, a kilometer. <laughs> but then the bus stop, it doesn't look far when you're driving, but when you're running, it feels like you're running to like, I don't know. It really the is. The freaking other side of the world. I think the fact that we warmed up with running. Yeah. And then he, I didn't think we'd be running much, so I feel like I wore the wrong shoes because now my fingers hurt. My fingers. My toes. <laughs> my toes hurt. The station mm -hmm. <laughs> we came back to was farmers' carries and then more running. Yeah. There's more people who showed up. There was like, it went jump from like 60 so to like to 70. 70. So we added a new station of running a mile, which was like all the way down to like a bus stop and then basically coming back up. And then we had to go into like a station where it's like farmers' carry. And you partner up holding dumbbells. So one person's walking with the farmers' carry and the other one laps them yeah. and takes over. But what were we carrying? 25 kilos? 25 kilos in each hand. 
I like doing like something strength and then something cardio. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just they do a good mix. I'm just glad yeah. we didn't have to do the max cows. No, absolutely not. Uh, but um, no, nah, these classes are great, hey? So good. And we had a good group too. Yeah, we did have a good group. It helps when you know people. Yeah. So you can encourage each other and be like, keep going. And you're like, I'm dying, but yes. Can I just say you're so good at making friends? <laughs> I try. I'm jealous. <laughs> I just make friends with people that you make friends with. <laughs> I'm like, this is Georgia, Georgia. This is this person. This is this person. Literally. I'm like, oh, hi. And like and every person we passed on the run, they'd be like, yeah, keep going. Good job. And I was so pumped I couldn't speak. So I was like. <laughs> I was just proud of like us girls. Like our group like didn't stop running. No, even stopped. though we're, we're yeah. tired. And I guess it just comes down again to like it's mental. It's all mental. It's all mental. Yeah. Even if you feel like you're dying, just I literally just tell myself to just like pick up my feet and just don't stop moving. You know what Meg Sutherland told me once that when you're like absolutely dying running, you're only at 40%. <laughs> Like, you can and are capable of doing so much more. So whenever I'm dying, like, you're only at 40%. You're only at 40%. And, like, you think that and you realise how tired you actually, like, aren't. That makes that a make lot sense? of sense. Because I find that, like, when I run, I'm, like, dying. And my feet are literally, like, if you see me on the streets, I'm, like, shuffling. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm, like, <gasps> but then I find that as soon as I know I'm at, like, the end point or home, I, like, run. I'm, like, sprinting. I'm, like, why yes. can't I run like this the whole time? Exactly. So I agree with Meg's all in your head. So we're going to go home and eat. I'm so hungry. I'm i got to go so get hungry. my eyes checked out if anyone cares. Because oh, <laughs> I am you. blind as a bat. Me too, but I refuse to wear my glasses. <laughs> so don't go in the cars, Georgia. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Good morning, happy Sunday. I, uh, it is 8.30. Please excuse how I look. I, <laughs> I was about to give you my excuses as to why I look a bit rough, but no. But it is 8.30 and I just got out of bed and that is just like not normal for me and I'm just feeling very tired. <sighs> not great. Sorry, I'm just looking at my outfit in the mirror. <laughs> This is the fit for today. Vital Seamless, Vital Seamless. My link is always down below. But I'm wearing pink this morning for Mooflex. If you haven't heard about Mooflex before or Alexa, um, I'll have that Instagram here on the screen. Definitely go and have a look. It's really, really devastating. And I feel like it hit me like a ton of bricks this morning. I said this earlier in the vlog as well, like seeing things online and having them like impact you negatively is privilege in itself. But I'm such an empath and it just hurts so much to see people struggle so bad but alexa is from the sunny coast and she is a triathlete she competes in triathlons and she was just out one morning with her cycling crew riding her bike and her bike hit one of the wheels of a rider in front of her and she fell off landed on her head i believe that she was in a coma for a while this is all the information i just learned off their instagram this morning but everyone's wearing pink and everyone's just getting about moving their body when they can for move for lex because we are blessed enough to be able to move our bodies so why would I'm gonna go get my steps in. I think I'm gonna have breakfast before I go. Put on my AirPods, listen to some music, and just feel grateful that I can move my body. I just got ready for church and I thought I would show you the fit. The sweater is Princess Polly from like years ago. These trouser pant things are from Target. I actually feel like I'm wearing pajamas and that's the whole reason I'm wearing them. <laughs> I love them a lot. Um, and then I have my white combos on as well. Kind of love, very comfortable. I just had lunch. I'm gonna pack my bag and head off. I'm going to Grace's house and then Grace is gonna drive us together. I've got a small group at three and then church at five and then I'll come home and have dinner. And head to bed. But I always forget to end off my vlogs on a Sunday night. So I'm just going to end off my vlog now because I know I'm not going to vlog anything else the rest of the night. Thank you for coming along with me this week. I know I wasn't a great vlogger towards the end of the week, but I hope that this vlog was somewhat entertaining. As always, sending so much love to everyone who is in a lockdown right now. I love you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video in the very near future. Bye.